All right, so I decided to take advantage of this hurricane and see what it was like to fly an airplane through a hurricane. I don't know what's gonna happen. So we're taking off from runway six at Shreveport. Uh, I believe it's in Louisiana. The storm last time I checked was about 50 miles southeast of this airport. So we're basically gonna just take off and we'll have to do a little bit of maneuvering, but we're gonna fly right into the hurricane, I hope. Uh, winds nine knots at two, two, five, two, two, six. Obviously you can tell it's raining. Um, I had to turn the detail down for recording, so we're not gonna get that great visual experience. But, uh, I mean, I, we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna get ready to take off here. So we're taking off runway six, and we're gonna head uh, basically straight about uh, 150 degrees southeast. Um, I'm not a pilot, by the way, so I have no idea what I'm doing, but I, I do know how to fly this Dayer uh, TBM 930. Uh, I don't know if autopilot's gonna work, because it's probably gonna be choppy as hell. So, Let's uh, release the parking brakes, and I'm not. I'm just got uh, the the AI is controlling. It was a bunch of people flying here. Like, look, this guy's taking off too. So I'm not the only one that had the same idea. So everybody else is as crazy as I am. Um, but I'm gonna have the AI control uh, my the ATC. I have all flight assists off, landing, taking off. The only thing I have is auto rudder because I don't have rudder pedals yet. They're coming. Um, I'm using a CH Products Flight Sim Yoke. So we are going to kind of get set up for the flight here. We're going to synchronize that, set that to 150. We have no flight plan. So we are flying v uh, VFR, which is absolutely nuts. Probably illegal. I don't know. Um. The plane's all set up to go, so all we got to do is throttle up. This is a single engine turboprop, the Dayer TBM 930. It's my dream plane. They're about four point, they're about four million dollars. So I don't know if that'll ever happen, but uh, uh, rotate speeds about 95 knots, and so we're gonna have rotation. I don't know what I'm gonna climb to. Maybe um, I gotta reduce the throttle a little bit. Uh, maybe 5,000 feet. I don't know. This thing goes up to 31,000 feet. It's like the fastest and the highest altitude uh, single engine, uh, single prop, turbo prop, whatever uh, plane there is. I think they're from France. I think Dare's a. a I'm not sure to fact check me on that but yeah we're just so our ITT is getting a little hot I'm gonna bring the throttle down we're getting wonderful uh, frames per second here it's pretty bumpy so we're flying right into this hurricane this is live weather we're at uh, Shreveport Airport. It's about 60, uh, well, 50 nautical miles from the hurricane. It's landfall. Uh, so this is pretty much suicide. But uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm going to try and fly through it and then try to uh, try to fly out of it out the other end. I don't know. I don't know how long that's going to take or if that's possible. Uh, so we're just climbing. I could probably climb a little bit more. I mean, they're talking 150 mile an hour winds, so I don't know. I mean, I, like I said, I'm not a pilot, so I don't know if uh, how that affects, you know, on the ground. Is that speed on the ground or speed in the air? I don't know. So we're just going to, we're going to find out. Uh, landing gear's up, and we are cruising right through 5,000 feet. Like I said, this thing will go up to 31,000 feet. Uh, has a cruising speed of like 300 knots or something 
At least the 940 does. I've watched a lot of videos on the 940, and 940 is pretty sweet. Uh, it's got uh, auto throttle, um, all kinds of neat features. Uh, it's got the weather. Uh, I don't know how to turn the weather on. We're cruising right through. Visibility is probably like three miles. There's a plane down there if you can see him. Everybody else is as crazy as I am. Trying to see what it's like flying through a hurricane. That's what's nice about the auto throttle is it as you climb and as you cruise, it automatically sets everything to the proper uh, uh, torque and, and you can actually over torque the engine. I feel like I need to be going faster than 100 and flaps are still 10 degrees. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn our flaps off. That's probably what's slowing me down. Okay, ITT is too high. It's getting too hot. You don't want to do that. So I had 10% flaps for taking off, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't take them down. So that's why we weren't going very fast. I wonder what it would probably be. Probably be hard to fly a, a Cessna like a 152 for sure through here. And it's f oh, there we go. Broke through the clouds. That's cool. Uh, let's get rid of that VFR map. Oh yeah, like I said, the, the textures suck. I have to turn it down. Back through the clouds. Well, that's cool. That's the hurricane over there. Maybe I will try and land. I don't know. I suppose I could just turn around and go land back at uh, KSHV. Alright, so I'm going to put the autopilot on. We'll turn autopilot on. See if it brings us to there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. Hopefully that we're good. ITT temp's good. Torque's good. NG, we're all good there. Um, it's like we leveled off. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to figure it out. Alright, so it's plugged in. So we need to intercept this this line here and that'll take us back to the airport and once we get there I'm probably gonna crash so turn this airplane around we need to turn right how's it look outside oh yeah oh yeah okay so let's go we need to head southwest so let's head 24 I'm just using the limited knowledge that I have of this airplane to get me back. So I'm gonna pretend I'm a passenger and the pilot died. Alright, so I pulled up a map of KSHV and we probably want to land uh, straight in uh, runway 32. I'm curious what would happen if I hit nav because it'll, it'll fly me. I don't know if I have my flight plan filed correctly so we're gonna land runway 32 I wonder how I have no idea I'm probably gonna either miss the airport or crash ILS 14 no we want ILS 32 load and active alright so so I punched in my approach for ILS 32 and I hit load and active. I think I might get us home. I don't know. 27 mile, nautical miles till we reach this way or this uh, waypoint here. And then we're gonna fly. Oh wait, I can tell you. Nav log. Nope. Okay, never mind. It's not in there. And we're gonna hit these two waypoints here, and that's gonna bring us directly into. Runway three, two. Cool. We might actually land this plane. But right now we're in autopilot. We've got nav one set. I've got my course set up. Emergency landing. That's the hurricane right there off to our right hand side. It's pretty clear there, but look at all those clouds down. That's probably 10,000 feet, I'd guess. 12 miles, nautical miles, until we hit our first waypoint. At some point, I'm gonna have to descend. Actually, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna change our altitude. We're gonna go down to 10,000 feet. We'll try a 
2200 again our torque is at 73 we're, we're not over overheating anything oil pressure's good oil temps good so we're coming up pretty quick on our first waypoint and the autopilot should turn for us we're way too high airports coming up pretty fast slow down I'm gonna try to get to 180 give some flaps should slow us down quite a bit shoot I'm still 20,000 feet in the air and I'm flying over the airport all right um, Wow that came up fast I, I had no idea so I'm just gonna descend I'm gonna fly heading this heading here try to get down to 10,000 feet as fast as we can it is nasty we're still in pink try and get some distance between us and the airport so we're gonna turn on nav mode we're gonna let it do the work for us so we're gonna land back at KSHV Let's check the weather wind 4-2 at 25 knots heavy rain all right we have Oscar so we're gonna tune to the tower and we're gonna request a full stop landing fly straight in runway 14 okay nav one is going to take us around this loop to this waypoint and we're going to fly straight in we're at 10,000 feet i'll have more time to adjust accordingly rather than trying to get down from 20,000 feet in 30 seconds so my problem is going to be trying to see the airport or see the the runway Ooh, we're going to drop down to 3,000 feet so i'm going to start my flight level change drop the torque back we're at 45 percent I just don't want to go too fast. Yeah, I'm happy with this speed. So now we're 12 nautical miles out from the next waypoint. So now we are seven nautical miles away from the next waypoint. And we got rain, I can hear the rain. It did say few clouds at 4,700 feet, which I, I guess, I mean, this is all pink right here on the, on the weather. We are still 5,800 feet in the air. Uh, we got four nautical miles left for the first waypoint. I think we'll be good. We're not even in that airspace yet, so we are still in autopilot. We've crossed over the HERMR waypoint. Coming up on the next one, five miles away. We're at 4,000 feet. Probably by the time we get to on Ongu, I'm going to probably drop down to 3,000. So let's drop down to 3,000. Some nasty weather, man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see the runway. I'm, I'm nervous, and I, I'm not even really flying anything. I would not like to be in this situation as a passenger or a pilot. I'm going to probably get down to 2,000. We're cleared to land. And I can't see nothing go flaps on gonna turn our land landing gears down oh wow so there's an airplane our autopilot off oh, oh, oh. hoping that's the runway wow this is sketchy I don't know what that means I'm gonna try and I don't know what that means I can't tell what that is is that an airplane? Or is that a runway? Oh, it's a runway. Oh my god. Yeah, we're probably gonna crash. Um. Oh. 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 Oh.